Hi friends and subscribers and I'm going on a little road trip today. What does Starry always say about water? Water on any homestead, I don't care if it's on or off grid, is liquid gold. So we are actually preparing our homestead for the dry times. And living up in the mountains, if you would have watched some of our videos from last year, you will see that we had a lot of fires, a lot of drought, and people's um, wells were drying up and even springs were drying up and if you weren't prepared you could find yourself in a pickle so number one priority when you are creating a homestead is to look very closely at your water resource and just because you have a spring that may be abundantly producing and even a well you always have to think worst case scenario and have a backup plan so today we're going to talk about that backup plan and that's why I'm here and in back of me are some water storage containers that we're gonna talk about that may be suitable for backup plans preparedness and really good sustainable water storage okay so let's talk options of water preparedness and what I'm looking at right here are pickup truck tanks <laughs> that's that's the best way to be prepared for your off-grid or on-grid homestead with your water needs buying one of these why um, because if your spring dries up your well dries up uh, a lot of municipalities will have water that you can get for free or for a price. That means hauling water. So many of our locals and people up our road actually who live off grid, they don't even have springs and they don't have wells and what they end up doing because they still want to live off grid and be self-sustainable, they just haul water. So they do purchase these uh, nifty pickup uh, truck tanks. Now they range between 200 gallons, uh, 350 gallons, or 450 gallons. So depending Depending on the size of your pickup truck is what you're going to be purchasing. They also range in price. You know, the cheaper one starts at $150 and then they go up to, I believe, it looks like $250. So this is a great option. And me and Mr. Hilder, we had discussed what we were going to do on our homestead. And because we want all bases covered, we thought, you know, worst case scenario, say uh, our spring dries up, and the pond dries up, there's no rain, the rain catchment system <laughs> is useless, and we are in heavy drought, and our 1,400 gallon tank dries up. Uh, we can actually haul water from on your checklist and see if it would be a viable preparedness option for your water needs on your homestead. This is also what me and Mr. Hilder is going to do. Um, we have a spring that has been producing and we've got a 1400 gallon cement holding tank. Now, you can use from your own water source right now, be it a well or a spring or whatever, um, you can buy one of these above ground holding tanks. Now these are really big, but they're awesome because when you abundantly have water, this is the time to prepare. Uh, you would fill these above ground tanks up so that if something disastrous does happen, say you have an extended drought, um, you know, the spring dries up, the well dries you, you just, you know, you don't know, you don't know. Um, we, you know, we came from an area in Wisconsin where we had abundant water and here we were faced last year with drought and forest fires and we, we never experienced that. This is mountain living. So um, we were worried. Well, now that it's spring, we have abundant water and guess what we're going to do? We are going to buy one of these above ground tanks and fill it up and now we're going to be prepared. So the above ground ones come in all shapes and sizes. Here are some smaller ones, but you'll see they have an access top here and then on the bottom they've got a threaded uh, port hole here for your, your hosing. So, um, you know, we're going to set it up because we are working with our terrain, which we're very lucky. <laughs> you know, you've seen our homestead. So we're going to set it up so that it's gravity fed. I think we're actually going to put it above the house and then uh, just have, uh, you know, gravity work for us. Uh, but a very viable option. And, you know, this is, this is the thing. If uh, this size, these smaller size ones, these are 350 uh, um, gallons. 
uh, we've saw we've seen people build stands for these. Say you live in Arizona or, or New Mexico, and the flat land you don't have any elevation, and you need a holding tank for water above ground, and you're you're hauling it. Uh, we've seen people even on YouTube, Mother Earth News. They build stands for these to get it off the ground and then they can continue doing that gravity feed. Gravity feed is great because you're not relying on electricity or a pump to get that water out, which is always the best way to go if you can do it without electricity. Yes, do it without electricity. Um, I believe these are below the ground cisterns too. They're very small, $400. So just looking at those. But again, if we're talking about preparedness, the best option for a homestead is hauling that water if you don't have water on your homestead and using one of these truck haulers. And then over where I just was, um, buying one of the above ground tanks um, and filling it up with your own well water or your own spring water, your own source of water or hauling it via one of these and then transferring it into that above ground tank. Really, really gets people what is rain catchment while we're on <laughs> water preparedness. We do have, if you see on our homestead, those 50 gallon drums, those blue drums for rain catchment. And uh, they're a great idea. Um, they work obviously you, you put them all over the homestead and when it rains they fill up and you got free water um, a couple of things though to remember it's not a really good plan to just rely on those rain catchments because number one we're relying on weather which is unpredictable here in the mountains we don't get a lot of rain so uh, when we put out our blue barrels we found that they weren't always being filled up by that abundant rain that we were supposed to be having yeah, you know, we went through the drought. So then what do you do when you don't have water in those blue 50-gallon um, uh, drums? You know, they're, they're useless. So that really wasn't um, a great plan. And the other thing, if you've used these blue barrels before um, that are fully filled with water uh, and overflowing, and I have, um, I'll tell you what, I've done laundry using my blue barrels. And I get probably about um, four loads of laundry before I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel. Same thing if you're watering a garden or you're using it for other needs. I tell you what, there's not a lot of buckets of water in those 50 gallon <laughs> drums. And it, it sounds like it's a lot, but when you start using and consuming that water, you will find out how quickly, even if you're conservative, how quickly that water goes. So um, you gotta have a lot of blue barrels. <laughs> a lot of blue barrels. Uh, even just for two people. So just kind of remember that and I'm sure you people in the dry states get it because like in Utah and New Mexico um, you know that you're not getting a lot of rain and people make those suggestions. Why don't you do rain catchment? Well, yeah, you can't do rain catchment if there's no rain. All right, and you got to have thousands of barrels on your property anyway to run that homestead. Uh, briefly touch up, you know, you know, because I know people will be asking about the, the blue barrels and the rain catchment that we have and why aren't we doing it. We are doing it, but we don't rely on it. It's just not uh, reliable. All right, that's it, friends and subscribers, and come back for more because the next trip that we take is not going to be with the Subaru. <laughs> it's going to be with the pickup truck, and we're going to be getting um, some of these uh, gallon tanks and we're going to be bringing them home and we'll walk you through how we're going to set them up in our homestead so that we can continue to be prepared and self-sustainable. All right, until next time, God bless.